Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working in module 4 on fractions and we are working on lesson number 16 which means that we are solving word problems using tape diagrams and fraction by fraction multiplication. So let's take a look at one of tonight's problems. Um, there are really only two problems on tonight's homework. The second problem, problem number two of the Lesson 16 homework, is a huge, long, multi-step problem that has five different parts. I'm not going to work on that problem. Um, I'm going to work on the other problem, which is problem number one. Uh, we're, this is a word problem, so we are going to use our read, draw, and write strategy as we work through this problem. And uh, let's take a look. Let's do the reading first. We're going to solve and show your thinking with the tape diagram. Anthony bought an eight-foot board. He cut off three-fourths of the board to build a shelf and gave one-third of the rest to his brother for an art project. How many inches long was the piece Anthony gave to his brother? Hmm. So we've gone and done our reading. Let's do a little bit of drawing. Let's see. One thing I'm noticing about this problem is that they give you some measurements here, eight feet, but then they want the answer in inches. So one of the things I'm thinking is, let's get to our inches first. Let's convert our eight feet into inches first, just to see. And I, I can always remember, let's see, I think there's 12 inches in every foot. So let's see, an eight foot long board. Here, I'm gonna do this over on the side. 12 times eight. Let's see, let's see, that's 16 and nine. Ah, 96 inches, okay. So let's start with a 96 inch board, all right. Nice thing about a tape diagram and a board is they shaped exactly the same way. So this is 96 inches long. That's the board that he bought. Let's see, he cut off three-fourths of the board to build a shelf. Three-fourths. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to draw three-fourths. Fourths. I need to divide my board into fourths. Okay, and then I need to say that three of those parts, three-fourths, are for the shelf. Let's see, I'm going to just label that shelf. Now, how big is each one of those? Oh, boy. You know, now I'm thinking, it would have been easier to leave them as 8 feet, right? I could have divided that by 4 easily. Well, let's go ahead and do a quick little side project here of dividing 96 by 4. Let's see, I can get two tens in there. That's 8 minus 1, 16. Oh, 4, 16. There we go. 24. Okay, I see. That one makes sense. Oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense, actually, because I know that one quarter of 100 inches would be 25, so one quarter of 96 inches is 24. Huh, what do you know? Well, let's see. So I know that each of these are 24 inches long, and that I know that Anthony used three-fourths, one, two, three, for this shelf. Let's see, what did he do next? He gave one-third of the rest to his brother for an art project. Oh, okay. So... I need a new little tape diagram that is just this part, right? We already know how big it is. It's 24 inches long. That's the part that was remaining after he cut out the stuff for his shelf. And let's see, he gave one-third of the rest to his brother. Okay, so let's see, I just need to go shoop, shoop, right? I need to divide that 24 into three parts. He gave one-third of the rest, so this part is the part that went to his brother. I'm going to put it as a, a B there, right? Let's see, how much is one-third of 24? Oh, let's see, 24 divided by 3 is, let's see, I think that's 8, right? 8, 8, and 8. So if this diagram is right, then he used a 96-inch board, he used up three-fourths of it for his shelf. Of the remaining part, he gave one of the thirds, right? He divided that into thirds and gave one-third to his brother for an art project, and that looks like it's eight inches long, right? Eight inches. He gave eight inches of board to his brother for the art project. Not very much. Holy cow, that art project did not need a lot of wood. Awesome. Well. This is a great illustration of the fact that once we have a good uh, read of our problem, and once we have a good drawing of our problem, sometimes the math isn't all that complicated, right? In this case, we had a pretty easy piece here. We had uh, this problem of converting to inches. We had this division problem of figuring out how big one-fourth is. And then we had really a mental math problem of dividing 24 into three equal parts. 
it's not bad at all, right? And actually, I'm noticing one other thing, which is that sometimes when you do things problems this way, you don't really have to work with fractions all that much. I mean, we didn't end up doing any operations that involve fractions. We used whole numbers here, we used whole numbers here, we used whole numbers here and here, and while we did, we did divide pieces up into fourths, and count up, in this case, three of them, or in this case, divide into thirds and count up just one of them. While we did use fractions, we didn't actually have to do any operations that involve fractions, because fractions, after all, are just multiplication and division, and we can just do those operations when we need to get to our answer. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time, and good luck on that big monster problem, number two of homework. Take care.